what do we have here this is what we have here again we call it lego this led panel that i'm going to be showing you today i'm going to do the unboxing and let's see how it goes all right so this is lego lg e268 slide and let's open it up all right when you open it up this is what you have all right you will get it in this nice bag right here as you can see very nice bag at least just to protect the light all right that make up the light all right girls here i believe this is egg crate they call it grid or egg crate that's one accessory we have the power cable or probably you call it a power cord this is the power cord or power cable right there what else do we have i'm very sure there's nothing inside again you have the manual i guess and that's all you have inside the bag then you have the light itself wrapping this thing thing okay so this is the light okay this is the lego lg e268c this light is heavily diverse so you may not need any division at all to make this light soft so you can use this light as a key light and um size wise it's more or less like um ipad pro side this is gonna take two mpf battery yes the mpf series battery is going to take two if you have the battery you can use it or you can use the power cable so at the back there is led light that will show you you know a little screen that will show you whatever you are doing you have a power button you have test button you have your brightness level and you have your temperature level knob so that's about that and the next thing i'm going to talk about is the build quality everything about this light is plastic pure plastic everything is plastic okay i will tell you straight away that the plastic look premium it doesn't look cheap at all all right so i have the light plug on now all i have to do is to press the power and now you have the red thing coming on it's reading a.0.30 test a00 or whatever the adr whatever i don't know <coughs> what all those things means so the intensity is what i have to turn on you see this is the intensity from all the way from zero to 100 from zero 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 to 100 if you look at it you have zero 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 all the way to 100 i think this light if you're going to use it this is the kind of light you bring close to your subject right and it's really diverse like i said this light can be used as a key light and this is 100 percent it's pretty much bright enough for a panel like this and uh you can dial it the color temperature so you have it from you know from warm to cool and you have it in between from cool to warm and to in between cool and warm okay and you have the light intensity from a zero and uh, this is 50 percent this is 100 percent so i have the light panel right here let's see how much this is gonna light my face honestly this is a very good light and that's just about 20 percent of the light i'm gonna tell you straight away this is a very good light you can use it as a backlight you can use it as a fill light it can be used as a fill light and you can use it as a key light it's pretty damn good it's already diverse so you, you may not need any division 
But for you to control the spill of the light, you have this included. Okay. I don't know where you're going to buy yours, but I bought this from BNH. And uh, this was actually included in the light. But I don't know where you are going to buy yours, if this is going to be included or not. Because I got this as a deal from BNH. I got the light as a deal from BNH. So I'm not sure if this will be included. If you are buying your own light. So just be sure you check with the store if you are going to purchase this light just check with the store okay and you have this two this way so it's actually depend on how you want to use the light probably push it forward a little bit so this is how I will use the light if I want to use it and it will control the spill of the light. If you lighten a subject and you want to control the spill of the light, I think uh, this will be a good idea for you to get along with the light. But right now, I can tell you this is a very good light for you to have in your kit. So guys, that will be all about this light right now, like I said. You have the option to choose from warm to cool, which is right here. This is all the way cool 5600 and to warm light. I guess we can all see the difference. Cool, warm, and this is in between. So you can easily dial in from 32 to 56K, the kind of light temperature you want, okay? And I like the fact that this light go all the way to zero. All right, it can go all the way to zero. And here you have it. So quality wise, I don't know the longevity of this light, how long it's going to last. But I can tell you, build quality apart from being plastic, the plastic is not. It's not a bad plastic. It's not. It's not that cheap plastic. It's, it looks like a premium plastic. So, should you get this light? To me, if you have the budget, I would say you should go for the light. It's not a bad deal. I don't know how long the, this light is going to last. You don't want this light to drop. If the light drop, you're going to crack the plastic. So I will advise you that this light cannot take a lot of beating. So I'm going to tell you that with proper care, with proper handling, you're going to get a very good use from this light but it's not going to take a lot of beating tossing around pushing around may not be a good idea for this light but if you can take your time to take proper care of this light to give it extra handling to be careful with the handling i can guarantee that you will have a very good use for this light it will serve you very well aside from that i think this light is really good it's really good for the price with the size of the panel just look at the size this is a very you know wide not like one by one this is not one by one but at least it's close to one by one so you can use this light even in a tight area okay where you cannot put a big light this is a very flat panel you can put it in a very you know limited space and you can still get away with it all right for those that are doing um, cosmetic makeup or anything like that i'm very sure they can put this light on their table like so they can put this light on their table like so just to like light them from you know below and dye the in intensity down a little bit this light can light them from below or if they want to use it as a key light it's a very soft light it's going to be very useful for those that are doing beauty shots or makeup artists things like that this will be a very good light for them to have and um, if you're a youtuber this will be a very good light for you to add to your kit 
if you're doing like live streaming a lot of online classes that require you know you to get on zoom or any other platform like that this may be a very good light for you to you know look into or to consider okay all right guys that's gonna be my time on the lego led panel on until next time you're gonna see me in another video stay blessed and remain blessed bye bye guys